Hello, my name is Lance Cleveland. I'm the code developer over at Charleston Software, and I have written the uh, the Locator Plus product. I'm going to show you how the city search works. Uh, this is much the same as the uh, state and country search as well. Uh, all those features will eventually move into the enhanced search add-on. Uh, currently, they're available in the Pro Pack. Uh, when they do move, they will um, function exactly the same way they do now. So, uh, what I've got here is my um, test site, and this test site is uh, been this has been preloaded with the basic store locator plus product and licensed for the pro pack so i'm going to show you before i turn on any of the special uh, features how this works with the um, locations i have in here and how it works by default so i'm going to go into the site i've got a basic page set up uh, nothing special here it's vanilla wordpress and the basic store locator plus setup nothing's been modified beyond the basics here and so I'm going to go and search for every place within 25 miles of my location. And here we go. There's the results um, and the listing of places that come up. And uh, that's how it works by default. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this now. And I want to present the user with a list of all the cities and states um, that we have locations and kind of coach them along the way to, to let them know where we exist. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to show the a city pull down. I just check that off and uh, save that setting. And we can go back to the site and see how this uh, looks by default. It puts this pull down on here with uh, default text. That text can be changed and shows all the cities. Now, a common uh, misconception here is that it does a discrete search, that when you pick something like a city, it will um, search only in that city. Currently, all of the uh, search-based add-ons, they all do radius-based search. So what that means is that it's not going to pick everything if you have a state like South Carolina. It's only going to pick things in the state of South Carolina. What it will do, in this case, um, when we do Charleston, South Carolina, it actually fills in the uh, address. That is the default starting address. And it's going to find every place within 200 miles. That's my default radius. That's how um, the city pull down works. So what a lot of people do is they hide the address and zip or hide the radius um, box. I always like to set up a new site with these things shown so I can actually see how it's functioning um, straight out of the, the system here. So I know what my results are going to be when people do find um, locations. So a typical setup would be to go in here into the map settings and say, OK, I just want people to be able to search for things in my predefined cities and do things um, like hide the address box and things like hide the radius so that they can only pick stuff within, let's say, 100 miles of my store. So this works uh, fine for some of the smaller states or smaller countries, but of course it's not going to work if you have um, something like the state um, of Texas and you have something there and you only have a radius of uh, you know, 100 miles because what it's going to do is it's going to set the search location into the middle of that city, that state, that country, and then find everything within 100 miles. So right now what this is doing, whenever I pick this, is it pre-fills in that address as if that's where the user wants to start their search and um, makes that the center of the map and then finds everything within that radius and puts it out onto the map. So as I change this, it'll show me everything within 100 miles of the center of Columbia, South Carolina. So that's uh, the basic essence of how these um, things work. It is all radius based. It is all um, just doing a really simple prefill of, you know, in that case it was uh, a prefill of the city. And I'll show you what happens if I do this with the country pull down. It's everything within 100 miles. So I'm going to have the same sort of setup, not give the user any option to type in an address. I'm going to force them to choose one of the, the countries I'm in. And it's not going to come up with the results I expect because it's not discrete search. So here we are. It's going to say search by country. Everything I have is in the USA. Find locations. Shows, hey, I'm starting in the center of the United States. No results. We don't see anything within 100 miles of the center of the, um, the country. 
So that is uh, why some people have some issues with this and understanding kind of how it works. We'll help get through that problem. I'm going to set the default radius now to 5,000 miles and uh, let it use that and keep it as the start of the country. And you'll see now at 5,000 miles it should come up when I pick a country it should cover the entire United States and there's my locations down there of course the downside to that is it's going to try to draw a bounding box between this spot and all the locations it finds if I had places in California it would actually zoom out even further um, so that of course is um, something to keep in mind as well as what your zoom settings are and how far in and out user zoom that so there you go in a nutshell that's kind of the basic uh, way that the state and city and country searches work. Hopefully you found that a little bit informative and can guide you in designing your location setup. Thanks for your support and we'll uh, catch you with another video here soon.